Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores, or I go to estate sales, or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist, and I look for things that either I find interesting or simply beautiful, and I pick them up, and I try to find as much as I can about them, and then I tell you guys about them. So, here's what I've got today. I have this absolutely beautiful vase. Um, you can see this this amazing multicolored iridescence on it. It's incredibly weighty as well, and it is bottom heavy. You can see the pontal there; it's been cracked off. This one is it's really this one is really one of a kind. <laughs> I you can see it's actually see through. I bought this for fifteen dollars in a thrift store because I picked it up and held it. And first of all, I knew exactly what it was and who made it because I'm because I'm a nerd and. I also felt such a joy holding it that I knew that I would have to buy it and essentially for my personal collection. I am not selling this. This was for me. I recently turned 40 years old and I thought, you know what, I haven't bought myself a birthday present. I think this is going to be my birthday present for myself. And so I decided to get it. Anyway, so let's measure it up. It is about four, about four and a half, a little under four and a half, about four, four and a half inches tall, and about four inches across. Very tall thing, and I gotta say, quite heavy. <laughs> very, very heavy, very bottom heavy. I would guess it probably weighs a couple of pounds. It's, it's good thick, good thick glass. Um, you can see that that lovely iridescence showing up on the top and it actually does go all the way down to the bottom except that it fades out down to the bottom and you can see it is see-through the feathering here is actually inside like that's a layer obviously it's a layer inside there, there, there's layers in the glass and everything to do that the iridescence is kind of added on on top with this lovely rolled rim as well and i just i really enjoy the fact that it's completely it is see-through at the bottom it's just that part there. It doesn't look like it when you pick it up. You can see that the iridescence kind of makes it look like a little bit foggy. But it's definitely there. It's just a little bit less down the bottom. And you can actually tell if you rub across there, the, the there's a little kind of roughness here on the second layer, which eventually kind of becomes completely smooth down here at the base. Um, hand blown, as you can tell. And the pontal has just been, it, it's not, uh, it's just been polished enough. You can see there's that iridescence again. That's just been polished enough so it doesn't cut or anything. And it's heavy, but I cannot describe how lovely it is to hold. I can hold this in my two hands and just kind of spin it around and move it and feel the grain on it. And I, I cannot describe how much, how much joy this brings me. This little vase is absolutely beautiful. And... I knew as soon as I saw it and I picked it up and I felt it, like, yes, yes, this is mine. So anyway, $15 at the thrift store, what do we know about it? I'll tell you, the reason that I got it and why I was like, $15, absolutely, I'll take it. You can, like, I knew when I picked it up, they could have asked 100 and I probably would have still paid it. It is that pretty. It is that beautiful. But I'll tell you why now. is because of this. Robert Held back again. Now, this is Vancouver, okay? And in case you actually don't know, Robert Held is a is a local artist and he is very very known for this style of art. This the irid iridescent like little little vases, little like these lovely little wide wide brimmed kind of square vases especially. They show up quite a lot. Um, he's known for this conceptual style, like the the speckles, the feathering, the the iridescence, especially. And some of his pieces, you can see there. There's another really beautiful example. Some of his stuff is just absolutely beautiful. Like I I can't even describe. I actually have I bought and sold two other Robert Hell pieces now. Um, he was actually, he's been like a glass artist in Vancouver for a very long time. He was working out of North Vancouver. Um, can't remember offhand the name of the shop. They might come back to me. Um, 
and he ended up retiring, I think, about 2013, and, up, and then moved out to Vancouver Island, got bored, and started working again just to have something to do. So he's still actually producing today, which is lovely. Skookum Glass. Now I remember. That's the name of the shop in North Vancouver. Now, the last piece that I actually got with him, I didn't actually get enough time to make a video about it. It was one of the little square bottles. These these little bottles here. Robert Held Art Glass Vase. They, these little, little iridescent bottles with these lovely iridescent swirls and everything. I got one of them and I think I paid four dollars for it but I picked it up and I knew as soon as I saw it that's Robert Held and although it wasn't signed by him a lot of his pieces frequently are um this one actually had the little tag inside it saying Robert Held art glass and it was one of those really lovely little um it was one of the little paper art nouveau kind of branding like style everything with a little bit a little piece or whatever about Robert Held on it and and I was like yes fantastic it actually shows up in a thrift video I think um I, I can remember I was there with the anonymous assistant and I just picked it up and I knew what it was. And I turned around and I said, yes, it's Robert Held, it's Robert Held. And she's like, are you sure about that? And I was like, absolutely sure. And then I pulled the tag out that was stuck inside the little bottle. And there it said Robert Held. And I was like, yes, I knew it. Lovely. But I didn't get a chance to do a video on that little bottle. And it looked very much like this because I listed it and it sold almost immediately. I think I sold it for $40 Canadian, uh, $40 US, I can't remember. It would have been on eBay. And normally I'd list stuff and kind of just, you know, things obviously don't, don't usually sell immediately. So I'm just like, oh, you know, okay, I'll take a few days. But if something does sell, I generally don't make a video about it because I'm just like, nope, I gotta ship. I like to ship quickly. And I thought it'll be fine. There'll be other Robert Held pieces that I'll find because it is Vancouver. And his stuff does actually show up quite a bit. So part of the reason that I'm actually identifying this as Robert Held is the fact that I live in Vancouver and it was found in a Vancouver thrift store. And this style is kind of very typical for him. It has, it has the swirls, it has the feathering, it has the iridescence. It's this lovely two-tone kind of thing. It's doing something unusual. Like his, his stuff is very, it's very kind of arty and very beautiful arty it's very much in my style i love it so much like i i think i think robert held himself is just like he saw like tiffany and Lowe's glass of like the 1910s or whatever from you know the early 20th century stuff that goes for thousands and thousands of dollars and loved it so much they thought you know what i'm just gonna make lots of that <laughs> and this is what we've got so happy i'm so happy that i found that oh and i love it you can see the the, the purples showing up there purples and the green and the rainbow and the iridescence I just I can't I can't get over it you, the, if you actually turn this the right way the rim comes out looking gold I just oh, I just I love it I especially like this one because it's clear glass down at the bottom this kind of clear frosted effect um a lot of what I see for him is going to be that the the stuff that's iridescent and covers the whole thing so you don't really see through the glass at all this one obviously you can see straight through it and it looks really nice if you actually put if I actually put this down like if it's just sitting here on my desk because it's actually sitting at my desk with the rest like where I can see it every day and enjoy it every day it actually kind of looks like it looks like this part is floating it's yeah just I can't describe how much joy this 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 gives me uh, it's staying in my personal collection I don't think I'm going to be able to sell it it's just so perfect so here you go guys this is my small, very joyful thing for the day. I hope you like it as much as, as much as I do. If you ever see glass like this in a thrift store, highly recommend that you pick it up and handle it and, and feel it. And if it speaks to you, you should buy it because it's just that nice. So thank you very much for watching.